Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the worst event ever in Haiti. Is it or is it not? I don't know, but that's just my opinion. So we are going to be talking about this crappy, trashy event, which is called as the Crops Bonanza, which basically means all the crops that you will harvest in this time will be three instead of two. And oh my God, I hate this so, so much. But the first thing, as you guys know, it's the beginning of a new month, which means you will be able to add me today. So I'm going to turn off this, and by the end of this video, I will be removing a couple of friends. So that anyone want to add me, please add me back. And once my friend's book gets full, I will not remove anyone until next month. So let's get started with the today's video. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to... All right, let's have a look at the boat. So this is wool. Um... Honey tea and the white lilies. So we're gonna ask for help. All right, I do have a couple of honey teas made. So there we go. We're just gonna ask for help on all the crates, and I'm just going to be. Ooh, Tom has bought my peanuts. Well, thank you, Tom. You're such a good guy. All right, there we go. Ten peanuts more. Now this event I think was added into the game back in 2017. So it says, "Wow, the weather is amazing for farming. All the crops will yield." Green crops instead of usual too during this event. Let's go to planting. There are so many disadvantages of this event. The first disadvantage is that your silo gets full real quick and you cannot get rid of crops very easily. Also, another thing that you will notice that during this event, the paper is literally filled up with so many crops. Like you guys can see pumpkins, indigos, strawberries, carrots. And what is even worse is that people did not buy the crops. So, like, why does it happen? Like, why do we even have this even in the game? This just does not make any sense to me. It would have been better if this was, like, all the crops would be, you know, get ready in a half of the time than normal. For example, if carrots take 10 minutes, then during this even they might take 5 minutes. That would have been more helpful. Um, but I just don't know why this event is actually needed. But even if they had to add this event, they I think they failed to kind of manage it. Because the thing is, whenever this event comes, paper is filled up with a lot of crops. Literally, everybody in the game is selling crops. And nobody buys your crops. So, your silo gets full, your roadside shop gets full. You cannot do anything, you cannot harvest more crops. It gets really annoying and that's why... Oh well, I'm just lucky, I'm just gonna get all that. And you guys can see people are not, people do not even buy carrots and soybeans, which are normally people buy them because they're important crops. But during this event, people do not tend to buy a lot of the crops. So that's why I just hate it. I really don't know the reason behind why this event is added into the game. Like, I'm not trying to offend anyone. If it's your favorite event, that might be. I'm just giving my opinion. And according to my aspects, my point of view, this is the worst event in the game. There are so many events that might be trash, but this definitely is the worst. And I just don't like it at all. I just hate it so much. So, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this event. Do you like it or not? Um, of course, there are a couple of benefits as well. For example, if you have a baby farm and you make a lot of feed there, and you make dairy there, this will be helpful that you can easily find the crops in the paper. You don't have to plant crops on your own. For example, right here, you guys can see I'm finding carrots, and I'm finding even sugar cane, soybeans. So normally, these crops are not found in the paper that easily. But during this event, you guys can find them in the paper. So I think it's a good thing. And second thing that I like about this event is that you can make a lot of coins just by planting a tea leaves. So when you know that this event is going to be coming, make sure you plant the tea leaves a lot. And by the morning or whenever you come back into the game, you can harvest them and you will get three times the normal tea leaves. And this way you can sell them to make a lot of coins. Tea leaves are so rare and people will buy them. But other than that, strawberries, soybeans, indigos, crops like that, they are not worth um, buying. So people are not going to buy them. Your shop is literally going to get full. So what I like to do during this event is I tend to keep about 150 of each crop. I just plant less of these. I don't plant a lot. For example, normally if I will going to be planting the cotton, I'm just going to plant all of the cotton there. This will approximately give me 180 cotton. And for the pumpkins, I'm also going to be planting just a few because it's going to give me three times. I can plant more crops in less time. But still, it's not helpful at all. I still don't like this event because the thing is paper is full and people do not tend to buy your crops. 
Like, I'm not even playing the game regularly, but when I do, and when this even comes, it's like the worst game in the game. Like, you guys can see so many people are selling strawberries, corn, indigos, and nobody even buys your crop. So, it's kind of a mess. Like, I don't even know what's happening in the game. Why this even, even exists. I just... I'm sorry, guys, if I'm being negative or if I'm offending, which I'm trying not to, but still, if you think I'm offensive to anyone's opinions, this is just me. This, these are just my opinions. So, my boy is still not done, and let's just collect the feed, and I'm just going to feed my animal. So, let's collect the milk first, which is the basic thing. Oh, my barn is full. No way. Oh, my God. I uh, still need a lot of planks because I don't have any, and I have so many tools, which I am not going to sell, of course. So I don't know what I should sell though. Um, what about the, I have a lot of products that I've been making so that I can sell them to make coins. But first of all, I will have to wait for someone to fill my boat. So why not let's just go ahead and make a bunch of products. So we need raspberry muffins there. I'm just going to be putting them. All right. And all right. I don't have any tomatoes. Let's come over here and we're going to be making a lot of syrup because I am low on this. Um, yeah, this syrup, I'm really low on it. And for the popcorns, let's make a lot of chili popcorns, a really good vitamin coins, and we're going to be putting the simple popcorn from our pie oven. We can make a bunch of the, I, I have all of them in the mountain, so I'm going to be putting, I need more eggs, but I know my barn is full. You guys, it's not going to work like that, so I will have to sell some things from my barn. Now, selling can be a little bit tricky. You never know what I, you should be selling because you never know if you're going to need them for your next boat. So I'm probably going to sell the tea because I think it's really simple to make. It's not that hard, of course, and can give me pretty much a lot of coins. I might sell the goat cheese toast. It's going to give me a lot of coins as well. And I'm just going to be selling these map pieces because I don't really need them a lot. And they can actually give me a lot of coins. So it's a good thing. All right. And let's just collect the honeycombs. And now we're going to be collecting our peanuts. All right. There we go. So basically, there are some good things about this event as well, and there are the bad things. But to me, the bad things always dominate the good things. So that's why I just don't like this event a lot in the game. Um, still a lot of vegetables, nothing worth buying, nothing that you need in the paper. So let's run just my dairy. Let me see if I have enough milk or not. So yeah, I've got 12 milk. So I'm just going to be running our dairy, and I think I can collect more milk. All right, so I'm just going to feed my cows now. That's it. Let's collect the bacon. All right, I just got a marker steak, so my pigs gave me a marker steak today. And I'm just going to harvest my sheep. So there we go with the sheep feed. And going to collect the goat milk. Let's feed my goats. And finally, my chickens, because I really need eggs. So that's it, I think. And I'm just going to feed all of them. All right, that's it. All the animals are done. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a bunch of feed. So let's see what I can make. I'm going to be putting a lot of, let's put a bunch of these. Um, then I'm going to be putting pig feed. Let's put a lot of sheep feed and some goat feed. That's it. So still waiting on my boat. Nobody has filled up my boat. Any truck otters that I can do or I'm just going to trash. Yeah, I'm just going to do this one. I think it's helpful. Let's go to my fishing area. I haven't been to my fishing area and it's so long and i don't really know what's going on but let's just see all right so we're to our fishing area oh we just got three requests that's awesome well um i don't know but i'm sorry guys i'm just gonna have to remove you again this is crazy well whatever so um all right just gonna collect the fish that i've been putting in my water the fishing nets I've been using to get a lot of fish a good way to replenish the fish stock faster than catching the fish individually by the lures because that takes a lot of time so I think um, nets are really helpful and my barn is getting full again this is horrible I don't even know what to do it's just so annoying you know what the worst time in Haiti when your barn is full and you don't really know what to sell it's like probably one of the most frustrating and the most annoying moments in the game I think that's it. I'm not going to do the ducks or the lobster traps. I'm just going to get back to my farm to do some more stuff, which is going on. All right. Oh, wait. What just happened? Did I just go back? Oh, well. So, October is here, and I'm really looking forward to the Halloween, which is probably coming soon. Not sure when, but maybe hopefully next or maybe 
later than the next week. So let's just select the ticket rewards. Just got a tape and AT&T. So we're going to be spinning the Wheel of Fortune. So let's see what we get today. Am I going to be lucky or not? So. All right, it's going to be probably it's a, oh well, it's a lobster soup. Not bad, that's cool. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna do this as well. And I was making a lot of the toffee stir fry because I'm trying to master my whole kitchen. So, oh, Katie Love filled one of my crates. That's, thank you for that. All right, so, yep, I need to make more jewelry. I'm just gonna put one this. And I don't have enough of these, so I think I don't have enough cotton as well. This is horrible. I don't even know what to do. So we're going to collect. Let's send more trucks. Just going to send the visitors away. So, so saws. I'm sorry. Um, No mushrooms as well. I can't sell them. That's not profitable at all. I better sell them at roadside shop to make more coins. Um, I need one peach. So let's just go ahead and collect the peach. All right, that's it. I'm just going to send this as well. So, can I make anything else? Let's put four of the apple juice. And I'm going to be putting... And during this event, the time looks a little purple in color than the normal white color. So, you will know that all the crops are going to give you three. Like, in my opinion, if they actually made it to 50% time fast, that might be more helpful. You know, like tomatoes, strawberries, and tea leaves, they take a lot of the time. So this way you can harvest them faster, you can replenish your crops stock faster. But the three times is horrible. It just does not make any sense. It ruins the game for me. It ruins my style, it ruins my roadside stand, it ruins the newspaper. These are the effects of this event. And there are only a bunch of good aspects, which are that you can make coins by selling tea leaves. I think tea leaves is the only crop that is probably the most rare crop in the game. Like, or tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes and tea leaves are the most rare crops in the game. While strawberries are common, you, you, you can do find them in the paper a lot. All the strawberries give you a lot of coins, but they're not that rare as tomatoes and tea leaves. Tomatoes and tea leaves are so rare that people do not leave them anywhere. You sell them, even if you sell hundreds and thousands of them, people are going to buy them. People are not going to leave them there, so it's a good way to make coins, though. And I think that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys this event, which is called the Crop Bonanza. And just wanted to give my honest feedback or honest review on this farm. And if, I'm, and if I hurt in anybody's feeling about this event, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Whatever I said in this video, it's just me. This, these are just my opinions that I don't like this event. So, yeah. And I'm just going to remove a lot of people from my friend's books. So, you'll be able to add me. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.